most shocking part to me is that they're even thinking of doing something like this. Like they're thinking of erasing millions of people from where they're from. They people that decide that they don't want to be the gender that they're assigned at birth, or they don't feel like they're the same gender that they're assigned at birth, and they claim a different gender. They're trying to make it so it's strictly just either male or female. So that'll take away a lot from the trans community. Well, uh, for me, it's like the fact that many of these people who are being impacted are my friends, and the fact that the government just wants to erase them is such a betrayal to the American people. And it's not representative of the people who they're trying to support when it impacts so many individuals, their families, their friends. And the fact that they want to like erase that uh, literature, they want to erase the fact that these people exist is just so incredibly awful. And I hate it. I think what's really shocking is how there's been, I feel very little coverage over it. Like, I don't feel that the full scope of it has been explored more than just like, hey, what can we fit in a headline for a tweet? And I think a lot of places are just like, this is what it is, but they're not telling you nearly all that's involved, like how it's going to affect all of these individuals, how negatively it's going to impact them and the communities that they live in. I honestly think that they're doing it just to be cruel. Like, I don't think they have any valid reason why they want it to just be male or female because it's not easier to do that because some people, like I said, they don't conform to those certain genders. They're not either a male or a female. Some people consider them both or neither. I think it's for their comfort, is that many people are comfortable in their ignorance and they don't realize what a disservice it is to so many individuals. They think, oh, because we don't understand this, let's just put it in a way that we understand. But in putting it in such ignorant and blind terms, they're going to medically impact so many people and they're just, they're just not prepared in any way or form to become more aware. And I'm really looking forward to a day where they are more aware and that definition will not be as limited as they're trying to make it so. They can disenfranchise people with a lot more ease towards themselves because I think really that's the whole goal of any of this is to make it harder for people to express themselves and feel comfortable in a body that they feel comfortable in so that it's easier to just subjugate them and make them do what you want and treat them more as um, pawns rather than people. I don't see any reason why they would need the trans community doesn't hurt anyone they don't bother anyone they're the ones that are being targeted and hurt and, and harassed so they're the ones that like are the oppressed group not the people that have all the access to everything and can you name like one example of like a um, harassment issue the transgender community had to suffer through right now they're having they in some states have that bathroom law that they pass where the trans person is not allowed to use the bathroom that they feel they should be like if, like if a trans woman wants to use the women's restroom they feel like the trans woman should have to use the male restroom because they were originally born a man stop at the trans community they're going to start with the trans community then they might go to the whole lgbt community and then it'll go to the hispanic community or the black community it's just going to keep growing and growing and growing and going to more communities and it's going to destroy everything from the inside the only people that will be safe are straight white male it's going to be used pretty much as a stepping stone as a justification for taking more rights from other people trans women are dying at a higher rate than even rec and either than even black women or white women or any women at all they're dying at their their life expectancy is 35 years old whereas life expectancy for like a man is like 70 years old woman is like 60 something years old so they're dying really young because they're being murdered by people that don't understand them or they feel ashamed that they're attracted to them with invalidating these people is that lgbt americans the fact that so many of our youth commit suicide on the regular if they succeed they're going to invalidate so many people who are trying to find existence. This is going to continue, and the fact that our life expectancy in this country is dropping because of youth suicide. Mm. It's that bad. And so this is going to impact people in ways that they're not even aware of. People who they don't even know are struggling, they are going to deal with this. People and family members, if they lose one of these individuals because they feel that their government is invalidating them, this is going to impact so many people on a scale that they're not used to. People who they don't even know their struggles are going to be impacted. 
I think they should speak to their lawmakers of their states and tell them that they don't want this law to be passed and tell them why they don't want it passed or they don't think it should be passed and the lawmakers should actually listen for once. I think for me personally, I don't like to let things go forgotten. As in, I'm not like some grudgeful person. However, it's a thing in which that we need to keep this current. We need to keep this trending. We need to keep this heard. We need to be able to support those in, especially, especially if this ends up going any further, especially if there's anything more that in any updates, we need to continue to share and to make sure that anyone who needs to hear this, that it is public and that is seen and that this will not go forgotten. What we hope to do is go down, is to not go down without a fight, like go down fighting. <coughs> I yeah. think that's the best chance we really have. Youth need to continue to know and they need to know why we're fighting. If this change were to happen, they need to know what it was before this and then after how, it's, how it impacted and will continue to impact generations after us.